Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about the RWA space, real world asset space. Right now, there's a lot of hype around this narrative and it seems to be one of the ones that may take off this bull cycle. We already know that memes are going crazy, still going crazy, WIF going crazy on Solana and a lot of the other ones, especially on base, are starting to take off as well. But, you know, memes have been taking over a lot of the headlines in crypto right now, as well as Bitcoin. But this RWA thing is starting to take off as well. And I want to talk about one of the coins that's kind of leading the space right now. And that is Ando, Ando Finance, to be exact. Um, so I'm going to take a look at this project, see if it's worth an investment. You know, probably try to accumulate some on some dips or if it's one that I'm going to pass on. So guys, if you are interested in the RWA space, let's take a look at this video. Let me know your thoughts and any recommendations that you, you know, suggest that I take a look at. Um, so let's get into this video. Let's try to get this bag together. Um, hope all is well. It's a late Friday night here. Normally I don't record this late, but you know, I've been looking at this project. Just wanted to do something real quick about it. So before we get into that, let's take a look at, let's go back in time into history. Last bull cycle, we know that Meta, Mark Zuckerberg, made an announcement that Facebook would no longer be called that and be changing their name into Meta. Then he went to this whole presentation about the metaverse and how that'd be the next thing, next big thing in technology. Now, if you look at this, this uh, was out October 28th of 2021. So we know the halving took place the year before 2020, and this is pretty much peak altcoin season, right? And so everything that ran on that narrative as far as metaverse goes, look at Sandbox, which is a big metaverse play. So if we look at here, you see this chart, right? And this was around October after Zuckerberg made that announcement. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. And everything was going up until we started getting some FUD with, you know, Celsius and rate cuts and all of that. But just I wanted you guys to see that when a narrative hits, this is what can happen, especially if we get peak bull. Now, here we're a little bit earlier because the Bitcoin having is next month, and then we have some time to let this thing accumulate. Um, I want to show you another example. If we look at Decentraland, another metaverse play, right? And we know Zuckerberg made his announcement in uh, October, late October, right? Look at that trend. October, boom, up, right? Up, 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 up. And then things started going down as soon as we started getting FUD in the crypto space. But again, I see a perfect storm happening if you're in the right project, in the right narrative. And Arbor WA seems to be popping right now. And, you know, not only that, we have BlackRock, one of the biggest asset managers in the world, getting into RWA. We already saw what they did with Bitcoin ETF and what they're continuing to do. They're out buying everybody as far as ETFs go. And Larry Fink is so bullish on Bitcoin, and he's just as bullish now into real world assets and these projects. And if you look at this here, you know, this is an article here that we got on Layer and GG on Twitter. But, you know, these are some of the projects that they think in the RWA space will take off. Avalanche with their Evergreen, they already partnered up with JP Morgan and other companies. Um, you have Pindle, which is another one that I want to take a look at. Um, not only them, but then you have Aptos also maybe announcing something. Um, then you have the Oracles, Chainlink, Pith. Um, you know, they need the real world data in order to give these, you know, if you want to trade and tokenize assets and everything like that, you need real world data. And I think it's going to be a big, big boost for um, the Oracles, Chainlink and Pith as well. So this is why I wanted to take a look into this, um, this sector here. And I think we have a lot of potential, lots of potential. So BlackRock tokenized fund draws 240 million since debut. BlackRock's tokenized fund is built on the ETH blockchain and the fund tokens can be transferred between approved digital wallets. So BlackRock's in, and you know, normally they're the leader, one of the leaders in the asset space. Once they do it, the others will follow, right? The likes of Fidelity, ARK, and the like. Um, so it's only a matter of time before this thing takes off. And I think we're still early in the RWA space. People are still trying to wrap their heads around it and really not figuring it out. Kathy Wood, you know, the head of ARK Invest, she's even mentioned tokenizing assets. A lot of people are starting to mention it and it's going to catch on. But again, these guys are the leaders and people tend to follow what they're doing. They're innovators. So 
again, what I think is the head, one of the main ones in the RWA space is Ando, Ando Finance. Um, so this is something that we should be taking a look at. Uh, the biggest challenge in tokenizing real world assets is liquidity. And this guy here, Nathan Alman, is the CEO. Um, and I'll go in and I'll talk about him a little bit as well, his background. Um, also, I guess what separates them from others and why I'm kind of interested in them, because you can trade tokenized equities and stocks. Think about that for a second. A tokenized Tesla share, tokenized MicroStrategy share, all on the blockchain. And that's very, very interesting to me. I don't know. I, I'm trying to wrap my head around it, but it makes sense, right? It's on the blockchain. It's verifiable, all transactions, but it makes sense. Um, it's going to start out in general at just, you know, stocks, but eventually maybe you get to real estate, maybe you get to insurance contracts and things of that nature, but you take one so small step and I think stocks is a way to go, right? It's something that all these hedge fund managers and all these finance people, they understand. Um, why not start with that? But I think that's very, very interesting, man. Um, also, you can earn yield, um, you know, on dollars and uh, U.S. treasuries and the like. And all of this can be earned on they have partnerships with SUI, Polygon, Solana. You see it down here, ETH. Um, so all of that is very interesting. So this is more of a B2B play, business to business play. But also, as far as trading tokenized, you know, stocks like I just talked about, you can have some retail involvement as well, not to mention earning this uh, this interest 5.10 APY, 4.96 on treasuries. Um, that is not bad at all. And look and see, you know, backed by the best, backed by Coinbase, Pantera Capital, we know is a big in the crypto space. And they have high quality asset managers such as BlackRock, PIMCO and the like. So, again, this is very, very this, this project has some strong backing. I don't think it's going away anytime soon. You see here, there's some involvement with Goldman Sachs, Bridgewater, Millennium Maker. Now, again, if you're a true crypto head and you're all about decentralization, this is probably the last thing you want to see. We're trying to get away from banks, trying to get away from the finance guys and do our own thing. Um, but again, if you're in the space to make money and you see what the narrative is, you want to ride that wave, right? And get off at the right time. So... Ando's doing the right things. They're making the right partnerships, you know, if, if, you know, if that's what you're looking for. Now, let's take a look at this is according to uh, CoinGecko, and this is all the RWA projects, um, all categorized and ranked. And we see, according to CoinGecko, Ando currently ranked at 93. Price at the time of the video is a little under 90 cents. And for the past seven days, it's up only 23%. You've seen other projects up 50%, 80%, 100%. So this thing still, you know, still has some room to go. A lot of people right now, you hear RWA, they don't really care about that right now. And again, full retail is not even in the space yet. And if they are in the space, it's all about meme coins at the moment. So once this thing catches fire and people wake up, you know, projects in the space, I believe are going to do very, very well. So looking at the 24 hour volume, about 234 million market cap of 1.2 billion. Not too bad. When you think of there's some memes right now that are higher than that. With, for example, I believe is at 4 million market cap at the moment. So this is 1.2 billion. So I believe still has some room to grow. There's some other projects here that I'll be taking a look at as well. Pindle, to be specific, looks to be a very interesting one. But there's some other good ones here in the space that, you know, have some promise. But again, let's focus on Ando. Um, that's where it's at currently. Uh, let's take a look at. The chart here, just to visualize things. So, you know, not looking too pretty, but again, the price is stabilizing. It's making higher lows, right? So we get some dips here, and this probably when you want to get into it, um, 87 cents. So let's take a look at the monthly chart here. Um, and that's not bad. That's not a bad monthly chart, right? BlackRock announced something about last week, and ever since then, it's been higher lows. That's all it's been hitting is these higher lows up here. So that's that's what you want to see. Now, if we zoom out, let's take a look at the three month chart here. And again, it's still in the green and it's, the trend is higher lows. Right. And if we look at from a year ago where this thing came from, you know, it's only up. And that's what you want to see when you're investing in a project that has a trajectory going this way. Um, this also has the backing of Coinbase. You can also purchase this on Coinbase. So it's getting the major sex uh, listings as well. So. According to sentiment, RWAs or real world assets are growing in market cap with increasing trader interest supporting the rises. 
So, you know, Santa is also tracking this on chain. And if you look, just, you know, people are getting into it. Again, BlackRock is the leader and people tend to follow what BlackRock does. And if we look at the bar chart, this is Ando right here. So it still has some room to grow. Um, the leader right now looks to be, uh, what is that? Kamina, D DAO, something of that nature. But again, we're focusing on Ando and we want to see this go up. And the charts I just showed you suggest that the charts are going up. So that's what we want. Now let's take a look at the max supply. It's about 10 billion. Right now there's about 25,000 holders, right? Um, so still growing, not too shabby. Now, if we look at the top thousand holders of Ondo, so the major holder here, I believe is, is affiliated with Ondo. Um, you know, in order to get liquidity and everything like that, you need, you know, some type of wallet that's in comport all of that. And that's the biggest wallet there. But other than that, there's no major whales. And that's what you like. Bybit has a hot wallet, 2.5%. And other than that, look at this, 1.7, 1.3, you know, 0 0.7, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, point. That's what you want to see. That's what you want to see. So not a major or a bunch of whales controlling the market, fluctuating everything. That's what I like to see right there with a project like this. So that is positive. Now, what is kind of concerning, and I'm not going to front on that, is um, Unlock. So we've got 10 billion coins. Right now, it's only a fraction of that that's out there. Let's go back here. Total supply, 10 million. Max supply, 10 million. Circulating supply is only 1.4 billion, right? Um, but the Unlock is coming, and it's going to be slow. So the next Unlock for this is not until January of 2025. At that point, I believe it's an additional 3 billion that's going to be released. So right now you have low inflation, at least, you know, right now, let's let this ride out until the end of the year. This RWA thing plot, you know, the narrative continues to get hotter and hotter. So you don't have that pressure, not until next year, at least. So tokenomics, although it's not the greatest right now, I'm sorry, well, it's great now, but in the future, we got some price, you know, suppression that may happen later on. But for now, if we ride the narrative and things are, are low, it has some good price action, I believe, in the future. Now, let's look at RWA, the TVL rankings. If you look at the top dog, it is Maker RWA. Then you have, you know, Stablecoin. Then right under that, you have Ondo Finance with total value lock of 222 million. So not bad. Growing. You look at the one month chain up 21.8%. Again, you want projects that are trending upwards, and this has it all. Now, if we look at the top projects launched in quarter one, 2024, by return on investment, where, where does Ando rank? Ando's right here. Current return on investment, 16.1%, at the all-time high of 17.9%. Not, you know, not too bad, not too bad at all. But again, we know peak bull, something catches, good narrative, you're in the right space. This thing can go much, much higher. Again, and we talked about the founder, Nathan Alman. He is a graduate of Brown University. Um, and if you look at his background, it seems like a smart fellow, right? He has a background um, with digital, I'm sorry, Goldman Sachs and digital asset space. He was there for about two years um, and then basically looks like some VC background. Um, but again, looks like a smart guy. He has the right people behind him. If you look at his team here, I checked out some of these guys. He have background in economics, background in um, blockchain. So he has a good team behind him. Um, everybody's there, you know, nobody's in hiding. You can track these people down and see what their background are. This is the founder here. So all good things, right? Now let's look at social media as far as what their following looks like. And you see that they only have 174,000 followers. And some of the people that follow them, you see Will Clemente, very respected figure in the space. Miles, good uh, person in the space. Marty Party, good person in the space. Um, Solana's following them. So again, you know, still early, still early. If you see that they only have less than 200,000 followers, you know that you're getting in at the right time. Um, Ondo Finance to move 95 million to BlackRock's tokenized fund for instant settlements in its T-bill token. Now I showed you before that big wallet that had that, all that money and a bunch of the uh, percentage and this is for things like this. The allocation marks to first example of a crypto protocol leveraging BlackRock's tokenized fund for its own offering. Nice. 
Ondo Finance targets 15 trillion tokenized securities market in APAC expansion. Leading U.S. bait based tokenized securities provider Ondo has revealed plans to expand into Asia Pacific region, marking a significant milestone in its mission to meet the rising demand for U.S. asset exposure through tokenized products. You know, we got the U.S. stock exchange. Now you're going over to Asia's market as well. Again, you want a project that is in the right space, growing, right backers, making the right moves, especially before peak bull. So very, very excited about this project here. And just to show you how this RWA thing is starting to get, gain some traction, rather. According to Daily Hoddle, world's eighth largest bank unveils tokenized gold product for retail customers. So you brought the tokenized gold <laughs> to buy gold on the blockchain. How crazy is that, right? Bitcoin was built to replace gold, and now you can buy tokenized gold product on chain. Crazy. So banking giant HSBC out of Hong Kong is launching a tokenized gold product for its retail customers as the bank and government both push to make real world assets available in digital form. That's how it starts. It starts in one article. Then you see big dogs like BlackRock getting into it. Now you see the likes of HSBC. Then you see others that will follow fidelities and the like. And you want to get in on a project that pretty much has the backing and is like the leader currently. Um, so I think this RWA thing will take off. So right now, the memes are doing pretty well. And trust me, I'm DJing a little bit as well. I have some memes um, and I'll probably make another video about that. But right now, I'm looking at these smaller, smaller projects, mid-size, mid to low cap projects that I believe are going to do very, very well come next bull cycle. And Ondo and the RWA space is one of them. So guys, let me know what you think about Ondo and the RWA space in general. Um, right now, crypto is kind of who would have thought that Bitcoin being at 69,000, 79,000 is boring, but for the like, you know, for right now, crypto is kind of, kind of boring trading sideways. Um, and right now is a good time to look at projects that people are talking about, but not really retail hasn't fully, fully embraced the space yet. So I think it's a good time to get into it. So guys, I hope you have a good weekend. Thank you for spending your time with me till next time. Bye.